Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to talk about how you can be miserable in Thailand in 10 easy steps. Step number one, come to Thailand and you have the expectation that everything in Thailand is going to be exactly the way it is in your home country. I've seen a lot of foreigners come here and lose their patience with all the differences that there are here in Thailand versus their home, wherever they came from. Don't expect things to be exactly the same. Don't expect the thought processes of people to be what you are used to. People think differently here than where you come from. So it's just that way. There's no reason to get mad about it. Things are done in different ways. There's different processes. Yes, they may not as be as efficient as where you came from, but that is the way things are done. You need to embrace that. Otherwise, you're going to find yourself miserable on a daily basis for trying to fight the system that is already in place. Another way to be miserable is to be menopausal. Yes, you heard me say that. So if you are a woman and you are in menopause, this is the last place on earth you want to be. Because if you think you're hot now in your home country, you're going to be burning up here. Just thought I would throw that one on there. Got that hint from my wife and it is hot here. Just know that. And if you are going to come here and you're going to go through that change, you better make sure you find a place that has an unbelievable air conditioner to keep you cool here in Thailand. Another way to be miserable here in Thailand is to expect no miscommunication. So when you to say to people what you want and you think you're very clear in what you want, and they agree with you doesn't mean they understand and you need to know that ahead of time before you ever step foot off that plane if there is something that you need just right and you want to make sure that they completely understand it you need to go over and above and remember the problem's not them the problem's you you do not speak Thai more than likely so you cannot communicate in their language. That is not a fault of their own. They're doing their best they can to understand what you're saying. But to save face and to not look, you know, like they've disappointed you in any way, they will agree with you. So make sure if it's something paramount that you need just right, you will need to go over and above to make sure your point is clear. Otherwise, you're going to be miserable. Another way to be miserable here in Thailand is just to stay at home, not meet anyone, not try to start a new life. You're going to sit at home and do nothing and then complain that Thailand stinks. It's not all that it was cracked up to be and you leave. You've got to work at it. You've got to get out and go meet people, whether and you can find people all over the place. And if you can't, go on Facebook and look up one of the expat forums for the area that you're in and find out where other people are. Learn to meet Thais, learn the language, start speaking to Thai people, find Thai people that can speak your language. The point is to get off your butt, get out of your apartment, condo, house, and go start trying to establish your new life here in Thailand. Now, another way you could be miserable here is to find an accommodation without air conditioning. So a lot of people come here on an extremely low budget and they're like, well, I can make it here. All I got to do is go rock bottom with this and rock bottom with that and I can afford it. Yeah, it's an easy way to be miserable as well. When you budget for, let's say, 40 baht dinners, 40 baht lunches, after a while, you're going to get sick of the food that you're eating and you're going to want to step it up a notch. So going with accommodation, trying to find a place that doesn't have air conditioning or not running it simply because you want your electric bill to be even lower can make you miserable. If this is hot weather is not what you're used to, you're going to want an air conditioner. I mean, yes, fans work, but having to skimp way too much is a good way to make yourself miserable and you're going to want to leave. Number six on our list is not doing your homework on Thailand before you do decide to move here. Say you've come here before on vacation for a week or two and you went to all these places and you love it. You're like, oh, this is the greatest place ever. Well, I would agree with you, but you're seeing everything through rose lensed glasses, meaning if you came here as a tourist, then that means you lived as a tourist. 
Living here every day is not like living here as a tourist. So make sure you do spend the time to come here, figure out what it would be like to live here if you can, or listen to other expats that make videos, kind of like this channel, where we talk about what it's like living here. So do your research ahead of time. Know the climate. Know what kind of visa you're going to get. Know about insurance. Know all these things before you get here. So you don't get here, not know any of this, and have to figure it out on the fly, only to find out that it's not what you wanted and you end up leaving. Now on number seven, we talked about this just a tad before, and that's living on too tight of a budget. So you can come here and you can live for a low amount of money. This is true. However, your lifestyle may change drastically and you may say, I don't care. I'm going to Thailand. It's all good. Really? Is it really going to be good for the long term? Think about that for a little while. Whatever you're budgeting, you need to up it just a little bit more because I guarantee you, you're going to start skimping on things. For instance, you can eat Thai food, Thai food, Thai food, Thai food because it's so cheap. Thai food, Thai food until the point you get to where you don't want any more Thai food. So then you're going to be buying Western food at Western restaurants. And guess what? That costs a little bit more. You say, but I'll get groceries. So you go to the grocery store, but you start buying things to make what you're used to for home. And that costs a little bit more. And then you find yourself enjoying entertainment more than you thought you would. And it costs a little bit more than you thought it would. So you end up spending more. Just keep in mind that you can make yourself miserable if you come here with a set amount that you can spend and there's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. And then you get here and find out that that lifestyle is not what you wanted. Now, another way to make yourself miserable is to leave business unfinished in your home country or leaving it in a way that's not very conducive to living on the other side of the world. For instance, say you have a bunch of rental properties and you're from the US, which is a long way from Thailand and there becomes issues, you're going to have to deal with those issues from a different time zone on the other side of the world. You could say, well, I've got a property, man property management company that's going to handle all that for us. You know good and well there's going to be things that can happen to a home that is going to be beyond the property management where they're going to need to contact you. You're going to make decisions. You're going to have to deal with things, especially evictions. There could be other things where you're keeping things, let's say in a storage unit facility and you didn't get one that's climate controlled and there was a flood in that area. In other words, you want to try to make life easier on yourself over here by taking care of all things and making sure you don't have to worry about things back home. Number nine on the list, a sure shot way of making yourself miserable here in Thailand is focusing on everything negative. It's easy to move to any country and go, well, that's not as good as it was from where I'm from. That's not as good as where, where I was from. I heard that in the United States from people that came from other countries and it just drove me crazy. You want to make yourself miserable. Keep focusing on everything negative of what you don't like. Instead, you need to flip that around and remember why you want to move to Thailand and why you did move to Thailand and focus on those things. There's going to be bad things anywhere. Anyone can criticize anything, anywhere, anytime. And the last thing on this list is to fool yourself that you'll be happier here. What I mean by that is, yet yeah, you could be happier here. I'm happier here. Lots of people are happier here. But if you're a person that is confrontational, likes lots of drama and has all these issues going on in your life and you don't want to take responsibility for it, you're not pointing the finger at yourself and you want to move overseas and get away from all your problems thinking I will start fresh, everything's going to be great. No, you were the same person here you were back there. Don't bring your problems over here. I've seen a lot of people create drama all over again, moving here with a fresh start. They've already screwed up everything. So don't think just by switching countries, you're going to make your life 
perfect. You need to work on yourself and you need to focus on your mistakes and what you did and don't repeat those mistakes when you get here to Thailand. I want to thank several of you who have contributed to this channel either by the super thanks down below. It says thanks. If you can't see that, it's right down below. Also in the link down in the description, there is a link for buy me a coffee. The people I'd like to thank today are as followed like to thank Chilo O. Oh, thank you very much. He donated on Super Thanks, so thank you very much. And on Buy Me A Coffee, Tommy P. So thank you very much, Tommy P. And also, if you ever want to go one-on-one -on -one with me on a video conference chat, there is a link down below. It's a Buy Me A Coffee link, and there is a button there for claiming one-on-one -on -one with me so I can help answer your questions about coming here to Thailand. Anyway, thank you for watching. If you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing. And until next time, Kapkun Kap.